How's it going guys? Welcome back. Episode number four of Lean Mass series. Um, things are going good. I mean, I've weighed myself. I've managed to put on one pound. No, two pound in this month, which is not too bad because I started off slow, so I didn't just drastically increase, so that's not, that's not too bad. I feel I'm all right with that. I was hoping for one pound a week, but two pounds, well, half pound a week at the start is not too bad, so I'm happy with that. Today is going to be leg day, so it's going to be squats, and I'm going to do a lot. I'm doing a lot of volume on the compound movements, my squats, my deadlift, bench, and my overhead press and up. So this workout might take a little bit longer. I'll try and get as much footage as I can. Got a new tripod to try out. If I can get in there and use it, we'll see. But I've also got trying a different pre-workout. Now this reminds me of a horrible vegetable blended greens cocktail I made once when I blended everything up. Not good. But this is um, my proteins pre-workout that I thought I'd give a try. Pulse, I think it's called. Sour apple flavour. It tastes good. It tastes really good, actually, but look at the colour of it. It looks fucking terrible. That looks terrible. But it tastes good, that's all that matters. So what else have I got to talk about? I'm also, because it's leg day... I am fasted, I'm doing a fasted workout when it comes to legs because of the, probably the fact that it's half of your body. I struggle completing the whole workout so I have brought some carbs with me. This is a Gray's box, just pretzel sticks with a bit of peanut butter. I probably won't have the peanut butter, just have the pretzel sticks with the carbs at some point during the workout. I'm just getting from Gray's box is sending me every two weeks because I forget to cancel them so that's coming handy today that came this morning um yeah that's that's about it guys we'll start off warming up a lot of squats and I will catch you in there right let's do this I'll get the glory How's it going guys? So we are back in the gym and it's my leg day. Lots and lots of squats and um, didn't mention before in the video early on but I am currently weighing 183 pounds. When I first started the bulk I did dip a little bit, I dropped down a couple of pounds but that's probably just due to me slowly increasing my calories but upping my training quite intensely. So. That's that, but I'm currently at 183 pounds, slowly bulking, slowly putting on weight, trying not to put on too much body fat. But onto the workout, so it's leg day, guys, so I'm just doing a lot of squats. Um, started off on 60 kg, just moving up like that. Um, 100 kg here, which is what, 220 pounds. At the time, I thought this workout felt really good, but I do feel I can go lower. I don't think I'm squatting properly here. Something just seems off when I'm watching it back and that's probably the good thing about being able to watch it back because I can critique myself and see where I'm going like I'm barely going parallel I feel, I feel I should be going lower. Um, at the time it did feel like I was going lower but obviously looking back at it, it's, it's not the best, they're not the best squats here. Maybe I just tried doing too much weight too soon um, but next time I'm just going to really concentrate on getting my depth back and sorting it out. I did work my way up in this set to 130 kg guys which is 286 pounds I believe so maybe next time I just don't go as heavy just concentrate on pulling the weight back and concentrate more on form damn I just can't help but look at my legs look how skinny they are Jesus I do train them as well but stubborn muscle group um, people might say why don't you just wear pants and cover them up but I kind of do it on purpose just to emphasise the fact that I know I've got skinny legs and I don't really, well I do care that I've got skinny legs, I do work them, but people can see that I do lift heavy even though I've got skinny legs, I mean 
I've probably seen Max Junior with bigger legs than me right now, but I will hopefully, hopefully, hopefully put on some size on them legs this bulk. That's what I'm going to concentrate on. That's why I probably why I'm doing a hell of a lot of squats and I do a lot of calf raises. Calf raises about three or four times a week, but they are a really stubborn muscle for me. So fingers crossed, guys. Pray for me that they do grow over this bulk. But so enough about my skinny legs, guys. That's it for the workout footage for this bit. I will catch you in the next clip. Didn't want to bore you too much with the full workout, so that is it. Ciao. Well, guys, that is the gym session over with. Did a lot of squats, and it felt felt alright. Actually, felt good. So, of you will have seen this already. So obviously, I got some gym footage for you. So they were actually all right in there. I asked them if I can set up my tripod. Now the tripod's only about that far off the floor. Doesn't take up that much room. That's the good thing about tripods nowadays. They're quite compact. But it is difficult. I was worried about asking them because then they would know I've been filming in there, and they might have an issue with that. And I might have to look for another gym because. When it comes to filming in the gym guys, some people they just don't understand and don't like it or policies and they just won't let you. I mean there was a guy in there who was making fun of the fact that I was filming, I could hear him, but I'm not just filming for you guys, I'm also filming for me and to look back it's good to look back that's the good that's the bonus of filming in the gym and doing this i can look back on footage and see where i'm going wrong or it, what needs to be improved on and you can just analyze your form and that's one of the benefits of filming but i used to do it on the sly but now they said it's all right as long as i'm not filming like as long as i'm not filming people and i'm not setting it up all over the place then there shouldn't be a problem when i'm doing like my squats and my deadlifts it's just me the camera's just on me there's nobody behind me overhead press might be a bit different and bench press might be a bit different but we'll see so looking forward to being able to film that on a tripod got hair on my mic um so yeah just finished so appreciate it to the gym and the staff for allowing me to do it that's it's good of him I'm happy about that. People actually understand why you're filming. But, yeah, post workout shake, guys. You've probably never seen me have a different flavour apart from chocolate, but I am trying something new. Uh, because I'm making my high calorie shakes, I'm getting sick of chocolate. So I thought I'd try strawberry and I can add some strawberries into it. So I got some strawberry, uh, 40 grams of protein, 20 grams of deck toast, my simple sugars, 10 grams of creatine and no glutamine at the minute, I'm out, so I need to reorder that, but I'm, I'll cycle off it, I cycle them anyway guys, so I'm going to get this down me, head home, get some food and then catch up with you guys in a little while, see you in a bit. How's it going guys, so it is a little bit later on than I planned, it is now two o'clock so it's been about an hour and a half since I got home from the gym but we're here at Nando's having my post-workout meal and getting a hell of a lot of calories in probably I think it's about 1300 calories for me at the minute and this is what I'm having Put it on. so I've got half chicken with two portions of spicy rice because the spicy rice only got five grams of fat in each this whole meal is about 30 grams of fat yeah, so it's about 30 grams of fat. Add a little bit of hummus as well. Cheese had most of it, and then she's got some shit looking salad. Nice. A meatless salad she's got. What's that about? Well, we're gonna get this damn guy, like I say, it's about 1300 calories for me. Probably about a third of my days, hopefully. No. I don't know. Feeding time again guys, my go to shake, quick and easy, get my calories in, cut my ass cooking, so this is what it is. Water in the blender cup, 100 grams of my protein to instant oats, just like Sean Thompson does, I've been doing it for about the same amount of time, maybe a bit longer, jokes. But yeah, just 100 grams of instant oats, 40 grams of whey protein, sometimes I stick some frozen, veg, uh, frozen fruit in there and that, but didn't really want it this time, just wanted to get the calories in, blend it up, easy, ready to go, and that's it, done. 
quick and easy shake. I'm gonna get this down me and I'll catch you in a little while. How's it going guys? It's a little bit later on and I've just gone through all my macros for the day and I'm a little bit over on protein, got a little bit of fat left and I'm way behind on the carbs. So what I'm having next, Twiglets, 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 Twiglets. The Twiglets are awesome, whole meal snacks. Uh, let's have a look, per serving, three grams of fat, 14.4 grams of carbs, 3 grams of protein, so I'll probably have 3 servings, maybe have about 45 grams of carbs, 9 grams of fat, that should put me up about should right, put me about right so, yes yeah, so that should put me about right on target for the day, so yeah, I'm going to have Probably have three servings of these. That should put me on about on track for the day. If not, I'll just have you some more of this for something else. We'll see. I'm aiming for about 270 grams of. No, I'm aiming for about 300 grams of carbs, 190 to 200 grams of protein, which I'm already over by 10 grams, and about 75 grams of fat, which just still got about 20 grams of fat to go. So I'll get some of these down me and just chill out. Doing a bit. So this is what I ended on guys. I ended up having five servings of the Twiglets as you can see. Five servings, that's what I ended up having. And there's all my meals for the day in my fitness pal. So I ended on 2,743 2, calories. 293 grams of carbs, 69 grams of fat, and 229 grams of protein. So I'm a little bit over on the protein and slightly under on the other two, but that's fine. Right on track, guys. Should be slowly increasing the carbs now and see how it goes from there. So that's going to be the video now, guys. Uh, hope you liked it. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.